Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Factorio Space Exploration. In the last episode I ran through some things I've been working with up in space and then hinted that there was also quite a lot of stuff that had been going on out on Ganymede. So let's head out there and um, have a look what was going on. So there was um, the first thing I did was investigate. So on a lot of, a lot, lots of the planets around here there are these sort of mystery structures that apparently there's some sort of deep mystery that you can solve and that's an interesting way of ending the game or something like that so you've got all of these pyramid things so i thought it was time to actually investigate one of these uh, chat and comments have been um, asking me to do that for ages so i thought yeah i'll i'll, I'll go along I'll, I'll have a look i'll find out what it is um it went okay uh, here's a bit of a, a, a bit of the uh, the stream where i was um, investigating it so you'll uh, see see how it went here we go oh Okay, that's quite a lot of biters. I'm um, gonna, yeah, I'm gonna walk in, fire the nuke, walk out again. Tactics. Oh, gold! That's that was a lot of damage very, very quickly. I think that was um, from a spitter. Right. So this is a reasonable way to deal with them. <laughs> Cowardly, but reasonable. That wasn't doing huge amounts of damage. Um, hence, running away. Ah! <laughs> uh. Right, now I need to get back up there again. See how they're getting on. Oh, very well. Excellent. So, there's biters over there. Uh, nest over there, sorry. Is there another nest up there? There is. Um, and then back to the lightning gun. Right. Piece of cake. What was everyone? Why, why was everyone saying it was so hard? <laughs> <clears throat> right. So we have a chest with ooh, speed module nine. Nice. I mean. I'm not really sure I have any particular uses for that, but it's still very nice. I feel like I should be doing something with the magic circle. Um, maybe that comes later. I am going to guess it's something to do with the deep space science because they aren't even think they're not even things I can select. I can't I can't even look at them. So I think that must be something something else. Something something for later. Eventually, I managed to uh, make it safe, and so if I go in there now, you can see that yeah, there's um, a, cu a couple of scorch marks and um, and some sort of this and this sigil in the middle of it. Um, but there's not a lot else to see in here. I have discovered now the in my um, in my exploration journal, there's now a section on having found this relic, so I can um, there's a bit of inf a little bit of information about it, but it doesn't really tell it doesn't tell me very much to be honest. And I've also I've also got a thing that tells me where else the um, there are these these uh, structures that I can go out and have a look at. So, yes, there's there's lots of them. Um, Miokin is the only other one that's on a planet that I've actually started to have a look at. I think all the rest of them are on um, dangerous planets, ones that have biters on there, so I haven't actually started to explore them. But I will have a look into that at some point. And from there, I, got my, I, I was given a, um, a tier 9 uh, speed module, which is nice i mean that can literally double the speed of a um, of anything i put it in but it also um massively increases the amount of power it, the, the, whatever it is uses the next thing i did was um i brought out a load of parts with me so i built up a second nuclear power plant here because i was when when the whole um vulcanite processing facility is running flat out it uses more power than one of these can produce so i put in a second one and i thought well i've got a load of spare leftover parts let's try and build a third one see how far we get and it turns out the only thing i'm missing actually is a load of these um is, is a load of the turbines so this is pretty close to being a um a fourth uh, sorry a third um a third power plant but it's only running at 75 percent effectiveness but never mind it's still a, a decent amount of power i then realized that so the problem the reason one of the reasons i wanted to come out to uh, ganymede in the first place was because i have all of these i had this mine that was feeding out a bit less than well it was four part full yellow belts um of, of, of vulcanite feeding them up to uh, the station up here and then that was trying to fill two blue belts of vulcanite to go into the processing and that's obviously not enough 
So I've built some extra mines. There's another one here. This has 19, potentially 19 million in it, and we've got a nice full station there. We've got another 12 million over here, and a nice full station. And another 17 million here, and another nice full station. And then in order to get this flowing, I've put in an additional un vulcanite unloading station and programmed up these um, insert and programmed these combinators to say I actually want trains to come in um, two at a time so there should always be there could, should be a limit of two trains trying to get to any one of the, these stations at a time so as you can see there's there's two trains on their way here um, that one's just gone off to a mine to get to, to, to load up this one I'm not sure where that one's going that one's also on its way to a pickup station and then down here we've got that one's just filled up that one's also just filled up so we've got two trains coming back out to this station for some reason despite the fact that I've got two stations each of which can have two trains trying to feed it at any time I still don't seem to have enough Vulcanite coming through um, I'm hoping that this is just because there's been such a shortage of it around my solar around my um, my systems that it's taking a long time to just build up refill all of the buffers and then at some point in the not too distant future we're going to get to the point where there'll be enough vulcanite being pumped into the system that it'll stop being a problem um that's where are all my trains i don't know where they're all i don't know where it's all going because if this, is, this i have to admit is a bit of a mystery there's so you, you saw as well as i did there were two trains just coming out of um out of mines just now. So there's one going into a mine there. This is the top station. There's one in a mine there. There's one here that's on its way to a vulcanite pickup station. Are they just not ending up with any vulcanite in them for some reason? Is this are these programmed wrongly? Are these are these inserters missing? That train has is on its way to put It says it's on its way to There is something very strange going on with these with these trains. I'm gonna have a look into this and then let you know. So this is that's just come from a Vulcanite station, but it's not got any Vulcanite in it. Okay, here is a train arriving. And then immediately leaving. What? What is going on? Oh, I better know what it is. So I installed a new mod recently. Uh, that's supposed to allow you to set up... Um, here we go, this one. Uh, temporary stations is supposed to. So I, ha I one of a thing that's been annoying me is that trains have been turning. I've had trains when you when you set a train to a, a temporary destination that you want to go to, if it hurtles out there, it waits for five seconds, and then it goes off to do whatever it was doing before. And if it's a sort of your own personal train, that's incredibly annoying because I kept kept forgetting to uh, to tell it to do otherwise. So this I think is what's causing the problems, but I don't know how to how to fix that. How to make. I was under the. I got the impression that it could cause you could have some, some issues happen with. It had some issues with LTN sometimes, that would be that would cause it to, them some, sometimes to wait at the temporary stations they set up. Whereas this is having the exact opposite problem. They're not waiting at the actual stations. So I think I'm just going to have to remove that mod and then everything will work properly. So, um, give me a moment. I shall do that. I shall test that and see if that fixes it. Right. So that's the mod removed. There's a train on its way to a Vulcanite station. And another one, and another one, and another one. So that's expected behaviour currently. Let's watch what happens when this train arrives here. <laughs> right, good. It's actually loading up with Vulcanite now. <laughs> that's a good start. Oh dear. And presumably that's been happening on all of my other planets as well. So nothing is going to have been running properly. Oh, lovely. Oh well, at least dumping four trains worth of Vulcanite into the... Um, into the system should allow me to make sure that everything is suitably loaded and is going to work properly and and that, that when we dump a full the full two blue belts worth of vulcanite in here that everything will be will work as it should and then of course the trains are going to block up this area a little bit but while we um while it's while well, while everything gets unloaded but i don't think that's a problem there's not going to be any we haven't got enough trains in that's going to cause a tangle and the yeah the, and the trains are just coming back out again now good And now we actually have that he nice healthy uh, two blue belts worth of uh, Vulcanite being fed in. To be honest, it's probably going to turn out that I don't need the two stations for this. But I don't think that's a problem. I don't think it's a problem that I've got it set up like that. 
So as always, when you dump in the, the supply at the beginning of trying to load up a, a station with stuff, you the first machines will take will will load themselves up. They'll take quite a lot. So it takes quite a long time for it, and then the second machines will completely load themselves up. And then the third set and so on. So it takes a while for it to all filter through all the way to the end. But it will eventually get there. And probably it probably run all of these machines because I think I designed it with the intent that it should be able to. I, th I think I did the numbers correctly, um, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, you can see now it's got into the last the last section of them. So, yeah, I think that's probably all right. And now we should eventually, once it all filters through, we should have that good supply of vulcanite coming through that I want. The final thing I want to do here on um, on Ganymede before I move on is get is replace this system here, which turns vulcanite into rocket fuel with a system that will t take the oil from these tanks and turn that into rocket fuel instead because that's going to be much more efficient isn't quite the right word but it's it's close enough one that is, is going to be a much better way of making um of, of making the rocket fuel that i need uh and it isn't going to use up massive quantities of the vulcanite that's being fed in although that said there is a lot more coming in now so it should be okay right so that's where I've got to. Uh, there's a little bit more to do here on Ganymede. Then I can head back into the um, back back to my uh, home star system and start thinking about other things like um, making the spaceships better and finding more ways to use those. And and maybe I want to set up a fuel fueling depot in in orbit somewhere as well and things like that. So there's quite a lot of stuff to do. Um, and and also there's of course there's more science to do. So that's on my on my uh, radar as it were. Um, so yeah, plenty to think about. I shall I shall carry on getting on with that. Um, as always, thank you for watching. I shall see you in the next episode. Don't forget to join the streams. It's good fun and you can tell me what I'm doing wrong and give, and give me other suggestions. And it's always nice to see, from, see, see people and hear, hear, hear your opinions on how it's going. So, as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.